Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I do have three Madame Glam gel polishes to share with you from my untried stash. So if you'd like to see more in regards to this brand and the colors that I do have to share today, stay tuned. So today I'm back sharing some more polishes from my untried stash that I shared with you guys some time back. So today I'll be sharing some Madame Glam colors that I have. I actually have a few more colors but I've already shared some videos on those so I'll make sure to link them for you guys. So it's only three Madame gel polishes that I have to share with you. Honestly I really do like her polishes. They're really good product and quality. I hope I'll be getting to pick up some more soon. We'll see. So anyway let's get started with this swatch session. This video is going to be really short because again it's only three polishes. So first up I have Ala Mode and as you can see it gives you a, an, an idea of what the color will be on the lid here. So this is one coat of Ala Mode. So this is actually a thermal gel polish. So when it's warm, it has like a dusty mauve pink, which you're seeing here. It's starting to transition, but it actually does get a big, a bit brighter than that. It's a cream, and when it's cold, it has like a dark. I want to say a dark chocolatey finish. I'm gonna try to get the cold color for you guys. So this is it in the first coat. I am going to go in with a second coat because I can see some sheerness just right in here. But it's really up to you. You could very easily get away with one. And here we have Madame Glam's A La Mode in the second coat. As you can see, it did build very nicely and it has a really, really nice cover. And here is A La Mode in its cold state against my skin tone. So this is the dark brown that I was telling you guys about. And then here we have it in its warm state. So this is when I was saying that it does get a lot brighter than how it was appearing on the swatch stick. So I really love thermals. Like, they're so much fun. So next up is Cabaret. And this is another thermal chameleon gel polish. Ooh, look at how pretty this is. So here is one coat of Cabaret. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this to be such a sheer one. I feel, I feel like this has more of that jelly consistency that I've explained to you guys before. So I am going to go in and give it a cure. And definitely gonna see if I can build this. I will say that although with the third coat, like I did build it up to three coats, it is still sheer, but it did get a bit darker. So I believe this is how this polish is supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a jelly kind of finish. I really, really love the color that it is when it is um, room temperature. I just wish that it was in a cream finish rather than this jelly finish formula. So this is what Cabaret looks like in its cool state. Such a beautiful purple and at the tip you can see what it would look like in its warm state i couldn't get it to transition the way i wanted to but just to give you guys an idea and the last madame glam gel that i have to share with you today is called chick madame and just by the swatch it looks like it's gonna be like a rosy type of color Here's what Chic Madame looks like with just one coat. So it is a bit sheer. I'm definitely gonna have to go in with a second coat. But this looks like a really nice, almost vintage pink.
is Chick Madame in three coats. I did have to go with another coat because it was coming out a bit more watery than I had expected. So I don't think that I shook the bottle properly, but I did find that once I did go in and give the bottle another shake, it actually came out better than how it did the first two times. So that is probably my fault. <laughs> you could easily get away with two coats instead of three. And here's what Chick Madame looks like against my skin tone. So this one is just your regular gel. This isn't a transitioning gel or anything, but it is still such a really, really nice color. This would be really, really nice for fall as well. But again, you could wear this any time of the year and I can see many different nail art designs being done with this color or this color as a base and here we have it for the three madame glam colors from my untried nail polish stash so let me know guys which one was your favorite honestly i really 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 like this purple my only complaint is that i wish it was a bit more on the cream side than the jelly side because then it makes the formula a bit thinner in my opinion and then you have to use more coats but like it's still such a gorgeous color and i really really like this one too i actually like this more than i thought i was going to and for a la mode eh, i'm i'm on the fence with it just because again i personally don't really like browns and the pink and the brown trans transition kind of threw me off like they're still really nice colors, but me personally, I don't know how much I will say that I would reach for this for myself. But all in all, Madame Glam, you can't go wrong. The formula is always amazing. Great pigmentation. And honestly, you don't even have to be a nail tech to purchase these. That's another plus too. As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching my videos. Please do give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I do post more content. If you know anyone that might be interested in this video, go on ahead and give it a share for me. And until next time, stay glamorous.